whole gun. Party walk into that bag, bring the whole bunch. Yeah. We just witnessed one of the greatest comebacks of all time. That was incredible. We were down 17 points with three minutes to go. We were down 22 points with five minutes to go. We were down 12, min 12 points with a minute to go. <coughs> I don't know what happened. The Timberwolves set their franchise record of the most threes made. They just kept making threes. And it's not like we stayed in there. We we got a deficit. We were behind a lot. It was not looking good. Oof. Um. But yeah. We outscored them in the fourth quarter 41 to 22. I, I, that's, I don't know what else to say. That's incredible. We almost doubled their score. Um, our leader in points was Buddy Hill. He came off the bench once again. And once again, he was fantastic. He scored 42, a career high. I almost, I kind of wanted him to get 50 because he had 42 going into overtime. But, you know. The Kings did what they did to win, so I don't blame them. So, yeah, he had 42, and it wasn't like a James Harden 42. It was Buddy Heald 42. He was on fire. Didn't take as many shots as he should have to get the 42. That's the thing. It was great shooting percentages. Belly led our team in rebounding with nine. He was basically our center for a good amount of the game. Yeah. And our assist leader was De'Aaron with eight. De'Aaron did not have a great game, but he turned it on in the play in the overtime in the final minute of the fourth quarter. So, yeah, and he had this incredible, on purpose missed free throw, and then he recovered and made it. And it was amazing. I've never seen it work that well. It blew my mind. But I th also think Belly had eight assists too, so he was doing well. Um, we shot free throws. That was that's nice. We did we did shoot free throws. We got out rebounded so much. That's shocking. I've never seen a team. I've never. It didn't feel like that. That was that's weird. Oh, second chance points. I guess that was a lot of. Them. And our points off turnovers was kind of gross, but, you know, it was better than theirs. <laughs> they turned the ball over 22 times. Yikes. Uh, yeah, that's their largest lead is 27. Our largest lead is 4. The final score is 4. It's by 4. All right, Fox score. Here we go. Darren Fox. Wow, he got 22. Um, not great percentages, but you know what? He did the job. 22 points, 8 assists, 7 rebounds, 1 steal, 2 blocks. Good job. He was plus 13 on the court. Deadman was minus 17. Wow. Deadman was minus 17. Um... Deadman. Uh, Deadman had two points, four rebounds, zero assists, three blocks. That's nice. He shot three threes. I mean, he missed all of them, but he shot three threes. Wow. Bogdanovich had his second start. Again, didn't play great. 11 points, zero assists, seven, I mean, six rebounds, one steal. That's not really bogey stats right there. Here's the points. Ooh. Twelve points, four rebounds, 
two assists. And then Belita had 20 points, nine rebounds, eight assists, two steals, and three blocks. He filled up the stat sheet. Here we go. Four of six from three. Sorry about the lighting. It's kind of dark. I'll fix it by the next video. I don't I don't know about lighting. Makes no sense. Anthony Tolliver still hasn't scored for us in his third game as a Sacramento King. So keep an eye out for that. That's always fun. Baysmore had 15 points. That's nice. He had 15 points, five rebounds, one assist, one steal. And then it's Buddy Heald. 42 points, five rebounds, three assists, only two turnovers, nine from 14 from three. Nine of 14. You want to do the math? That's crazy. That's 64%. 64%. He made nine threes. Made all his free throws. It was the buddy show. It really was. So yeah, that was a... We definitely didn't deserve to win that. I mean, we kind of did, but... We've been on the other side of that, where the team just comes back and we just go ice cold. It doesn't feel good. So I feel bad for the Timberwolves fans and the team... But you know what? That's the NBA, and we just acted like a good team that came back. That's great. Our next game, I believe, is on Wednesday against the Thunder. They're good. We might have a chance-ish. We'll see if Holmes is back. He's in the middle of his third week of injury from his two- to three-week injury prediction span. Bagley is, again, injured because he's terrible at getting healthy. The man is injured all the time. And it really, like, we say, yeah, we didn't draft Luca because we got Bagley and he's going to be great for our future. There's no future in Bagley if he's always injured. That's the fact. Luca, I don't think he has been injured. Marvin's been injured multiple times. I don't know. There you go. I mean, he's injury prone. He really is. He's been injured multiple. He played 60 games last season. He's not going to play 20 this season, I believe. Hold on. Let me get the real number. Right now... He's played 13 games. I, yeah, I don't think he would. he's going to play 20 games this season. Which is terrible. Because that's, that's a guy we rely on. That we want to rely on. Oh my goodness gracious. But yeah. So Tolliver still hasn't scored. Keep an eye out for that. Let's keep it going. It's great. I'm so glad we traded him for him. Vade, good job. Yay. Uh, and keep an eye out for our trades because I really think we're going to be doing something soon. All right. Peace out.